The UK Ministry of Defence plans to pick at least one of three competing designs in the next few months to proceed to the flight test phase of its programme to develop loyal wingman-type drone prototypes. The goal of this effort is to demonstrate the feasibility of a low-cost unmanned aircraft that could potentially work together with the country's Eurofighter Typhoons and F-35B Joint Strike Fighters, as well as a future stealth fighter jet in the works now under the separate Tempest project. Flight Global was first to report on the latest developments with regards to Project Mosquito, a technology demonstration effort within the larger lightweight affordable novel combat aircraft program, or known as LANCA, on June 30, 2020. The UK's Defence Science and Technology Laboratory, an executive agency of the country's Ministry of Defence, is leading both of these projects. Peter Stockel, the lead official for Defence Science and Technology Laboratory, said that all three entrants in the first phase, Boeing, a Blue Bear Systems research-led team, and another partnership called Black Dawn, which includes the Belfast Division of Bombardier Aerospace and Northrop Grumman UK, had submitted proposals for the second phase of the project. Defence Science and Technology Laboratory has left open the possibility that it could award new contracts to more than one of these contenders. None of the firms have revealed details about their prospective drone concepts, which they were contracted to be refined during the first phase of the program, which began last year. In July 2019, the UK Royal Air Force's Rapid Capabilities Office, together with Defence Science and Technology Laboratory, displayed models representing a notional design at that year's Royal International Air Tattoo. The Boeing's Australian division is already well into the prototype stage of development of a loyal wingman-type drone for the Royal Australian Air Force as part of that country's air power teaming system program. It is very possible that that work has informed the company's proposal for the second phase of Project Mosquito. Meanwhile, American drone maker Kratos is curiously absent from the competition. This is the company behind the US Air Force's XQ-58 of Valkyrie drone which that service is already experimenting with as a possible loyal wingman, as well as an unmanned platform to take on other roles, such as communications relay. Kratos has already sold target drones to the UK military, as well. The Lanka program's primary overarching goal is to develop and acquire a fleet of attributable drones that would operate primarily together with manned aircraft, such as the Typhoon, the F-35B or Future Tempest, but could ultimately operate individually or in autonomous swarms. The Lanka drones are also expected to have modular designs allowing them to be readily configured to perform various roles, including intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, electronic warfare, and strike missions. These unmanned aircraft would give the Royal Air Force significant additional aerial combat capacity at a relatively low cost, a principle that Project Mosquito is meant to demonstrate. It's possible that Lanka and the fielding of any loyal wingman-type drones it produces could serve as a stepping stone in the broader integration of increasingly more capable unmanned aircraft in the Royal Air Force and other elements of Thuke armed forces. UK-headquartered BAE Systems has already spent some 15 years working on Terranus, a testbed for a much more advanced fully autonomous and very low observable unmanned combat air vehicle. In the past, the plan for Terranus derived unmanned combat air vehicle to enter service sometime after 2030. Hopefully after the UK Ministry of Defence picks the design or designs it wants to move to the flight test phase, we will get a look at what could be the basis for the Royal Air Force's first loyal wingman drones.